Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Well, it looks like the clouds and the wettish weather continues. There's a look at our Jasper Sky Cam. Fortunately, today will be another warm day. And uh, you can see that the streets are wet down there at Jasper. And looking at Mount Chiha, you can see they're almost in the clouds. The lights from the area up there reflecting off of the low clouds that are just hanging right close to the mountaintop. The surface pattern hasn't changed a great deal, but the overall frontal position has gradually gotten closer. Uh, this is actually for midday today. And along with that, we see that the trough is still back to our west, and it just seems to be holding back there. Uh, we're sort of stuck in this weather pattern. And notice the moisture coming out of the Pacific, across Mexico, into the northwestern Gulf, and then eventually across the southeastern U.S. And that, unfortunately, could mean some... Uh, possibly heavy rains for areas tomorrow and Tuesday and uh, the potential for some flooding. There is uh, very warm weather surging all the way from basically southeast Texas or actually maybe say southern Louisiana all the way up into the eastern Great Lakes. Temperatures beginning to cool behind the front area and uh, I noticed yesterday Little Rock went from the lower 70s down very uh, quickly to the upper 30s. We're not into the upper 30s just yet. We're still in the very warm air. You can see Tuscaloosa at 70, uh, Fort Payne at 63, uh, Muscle Shoals at 65. So a nice, a nice warm morning. And those temperatures are about, uh, let's see, what's that, 12 or 13 degrees above the typical highs for the day. The rain is also inching closer. We do have some patchy light rain across central Alabama and northern uh, Alabama and of course a little bit closer look at the uh, radar image and you can see that uh, you know the bulk of it is back in north central Mississippi and in west Tennessee this is from the uh, Columbus radar the watch warning map continues to show uh, the green area our uh, flash flood watches extending from Louisiana all the way up into the Ohio uh, northwestern Ohio and uh, in addition to those, we have uh, some dense fog advisories along the East Coast from uh, Virginia all the way up into New England. And then those purple areas are actually some winter weather advisories. Uh, most of those seem to be uh, being canceled as the precipitation is very light. Precipitation for the next five days expected uh, to focus on central Alabama on the order of about, looks like about three inches possible for uh, much of our area and for North uh, Alabama. Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking a specific area for slight risk uh, due primarily to the marginal nature of the thermodynamic profiles. Uh, very quickly, let's go into some, uh, this is the uh, SREF model uh, from the Storm Prediction Center. And there's a look at the surface base capes for today at 21Z. <clears throat> so that is uh, around 3 p.m. Uh, and um, indeed, you can see that the you know the Cape values um, are around 500, so they're up there, but they're not just tremendous. The composite index, the storm uh, significant tornado parameter (STP), uh, basically um, shows marginal values. Once again, you want to see values uh, higher than what we're seeing there, which is basically a one. And uh, then finally, uh, the helicity values. Also uh, approaching uh, around 400, uh, but once again, it's in a very narrow line. And if you'll notice it, this is also 21Z, you'll notice it really doesn't line up with where the Cape values are the highest. So uh, the bottom line is, yes, we could uh, see something severe, but I think that we will, uh, it'll be a very marginal situation. All right, moving on, there is uh, at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, this evening, there is the surface front, the surface pattern, and you can see that uh, the, the rain has should be getting into our area. Tomorrow at uh, 18Z uh, noon, uh, we see that the trough is still holding back. So uh, it's inching our way. You can see it's kind of uh, laying over, but we're still in the, in the southwesterly flow. 
And the bottom line is we're going to continue to see the uh, weather uh, stretching from southern Louisiana across uh, north and central uh, Alabama uh, into the southern Appalachians. But the temperatures to uh, Monday are going to be uh, holding steady, primarily in the 40s. The trough still holds back on Tuesday, so we're still you know, into that pattern. And you can see at the surface, we, we're still now, now the front is down in our area. So <laughs> um, it could be one of those situations where, you know, somebody ends up with like Montgomery ends up being around 68, 70 degrees and Birmingham ends up being like 49. When we get to uh, Wednesday, uh, the trough is beginning to come out uh, across Texas. And uh, we're, we're getting a little reinforcement, almost a, almost a split flow with the trough holding back and the closed low over Texas and then the uh, trough to the north. But uh, the bottom line is that that should give us a little break on Wednesday in the precipitation uh, as we see a little bit uh, of, uh, of a change there. And finally, on Thursday, the GFS is forecasting that the trough should come on by as it has weakened considerably. And with that, of course, we we'll, we may see a return to some clouds and a chance, at least a chance, for some additional rain. So uh, while we kind of get things out of here on Wednesday, it looks like they return briefly, though. And uh, interesting that even though the models have been in been out of agreement, uh, there's the the European for the same time period. This is a uh, uh, noon on. Thursday and certainly suggesting a very similar surface pattern. Well, the good news is that that trough weakens and moves on by, but the bad news is we're getting into much more of a uh, colder look looking pattern uh, with uh, the the main trough over the eastern half of the country. Uh, Of course, that does dry us out as surface high settles in over the uh, area and especially over the lower Mississippi River Valley. On Friday, on Saturday, uh, the high is still here, and on Sunday, the high is still here. So the bottom line is it looks like for the weekend, we should uh, be dry next weekend. We should be dry and also um, probably having about uh, seasonal temperatures. Now, looking out into voodoo country, woohoo, boy, the GFS is really taking on a cold look. Uh, with this long wave trough position and a substantial ridge in the west, and that gives us a very strong northwesterly flow. If you follow those lines back, you can tell that if you take from central Alabama and you go all the way back, you go way back into Canada. And uh, not a big change to the pattern by the end of the period. And uh, this is uh, Monday, the 28th of January. Um, we're suggesting that the northwesterly flow, while it, it does weaken a little bit kind of in between, it certainly stays there. And the bottom line is it looks like we're going to uh, go from that really warmth we've had to maybe uh, a week or so of pretty chilly uh, air. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope that your Sunday is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.